Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Inside this unsuspecting building is the cheapest one bedroom you can buy anywhere in Lower Manhattan. Be honest with me, was this an illegal Airbnb? Is that why it's so nice? No, it's partially <laughs> staged. Ah, okay. And it's essentially in the middle of a secret little garden. Look at that. Is buying this cheaper than renting something like it? It's probably a little bit more expensive, but you're building equity. You're not throwing your money away every month. Not only is it quaint, and cute, but it comes with something most apartments in this city don't have. Whoa, does it come with two free ACs? Yes, it does. They're happy to include them. And we're here to find out if you should buy this place and invest in your own future, or if you should rent something else and invest in someone else's future. I think the answer is pretty obvious. But the best thing about this apartment is that's Union Square. And while you're here, you can take the subway. So many trains. And there's coffee and the farmer's market. Soup, fresh pie, chicken, wolf. Luckily, it's just a bakery, but this is pretty cool. And it looks like it's here four days a week. Uh, this is pretty cool looking. These striped pumpkins, apparently they are edible. I didn't know that you could eat those. Maybe it's the gourds you're supposed to stay away from. Nothing says you're the life of the party. Like a gourd or a miniature cactus. Obviously Union Square is where the cool people live, but Union Square is only part of what makes this neighborhood awesome. The apartment is one block east of Union Square, and believe it or not, this is one of the most special streets in New York. That's the Chrysler building, and it's basically a little restaurant crawl. Mono. Who needs a menu when you only serve one thing? Looks like wine. Got another little cafe down here, and we're by historic Pete's Tavern, which was here since 1864. This is like one of those business that is uniquely New York. And they don't have a menu that's too complicated to understand. $30 pork chop. It'll change your life. Then we got a cheese shop, a coffee shop, which says it's a farm, and there's more. But here's why this street's cool. It's not a through street. Down here by those buildings, we have a dead end. And right there is the dead end at Madison Square Park. And for the most part, that restricts traffic to what you see here. And it keeps it residential, even though it's in a popular part of town. Everyone has good days and bad days. I happen to have two small businesses. And when things are going great at one or both, I feel incredible, I feel bulletproof. But when things go bad, if something unexpected comes up, that can take your mind out of the game completely. And it's easy to let negative thoughts and emotions just totally consume you. You forget your past blessings and you start to think to yourself that the future has no hope. And that's why I'm so excited to talk about today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. The world's largest online therapy service. They've got over 30,000 licensed and accredited therapists from a wide range of fields. Answer a couple of quick questions to get matched with a therapist. You can text, you can chat, you can even schedule video calls. Now, if for some reason you're not happy with your therapist, you can change at any time for any reason at no additional cost. Plus, you're getting the same expert advice you'd get from a physical, in-person therapy session without any of the hassle. All of the therapists BetterHelp can connect you with have a minimum of three years of experience and a thousand hands-on hours. You can save 10% by clicking the link right here, betterhelp.com slash cashjordan. You'll save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. Click the link below or check out the video description. Now let's get back to the video. Here we are. Look at this building. It's so unsuspecting. And there's a plaque here about distinguished Americans or something. Anyways, very small building. Doesn't attract a lot of attention. You could be the president of Antarctica and live here and no one would know. That's how famous you could be and live in this place. Hello. Hi, welcome. It's so cute. What are we looking at? What's it cost? I want it. The asking price is six eighty five. Okay. Um, the maintenance is ten seventy eight, which because it's a co op, that includes the taxes. Okay, so that's your monthly fee. Yeah, which is very reasonable for a one bedroom in this neighborhood. Kind of is, New York's expensive. So why is it for sale if it's so cheap? The sellers are ready to sell because they are they were using it as a piano terror. They don't need the, the space anymore. They renovated it a few years ago. So it really is move-in ready. Everything's in great condition. And the other nice thing about buying from a piano terror buyer is that they had a light footprint in the, in the apartment. They were not here a lot. They were here on weekends. So you're saying light use. So like if I'm buying a used Toyota Corolla and it's got 10,000 highway miles, it's not like 
heavy city miles. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you did. I got it. Is this the foyer? This is the foyer. I like it. Or foyer. Foyer. I don't know. It's big. This is a great, uh, great coat closet. Does it have a light inside? Apologies for the vacuum and the stuff, but lots of great storage in here. There's also basement storage really? that comes with the apartment. And there's laundry in the basement of the building, there's right? laundry in the basement, exactly. Sweet. Liz, what do you think somebody could do with this little area here? Maybe like a little bench for shoes or something? What do you think? I think that this corner here would be the logical place to do maybe a table, a place to put down your keys. A mirror. Um, yeah. Because we're vain and conceited and we want to know what we look like. Is this brand new? I see there's still the sticker on it. I know, you know, I don't think that has ever been used. Really? So they just put it in and left it? If it has been used, it's been used very, very lightly. It's actually a pretty big kitchen though, considering it just takes up like this one wall. I mean, there's serious counter space. We got the burners, we've got the prep space, we've got your lemon storage right there. The sink is nice and big, the water pressure is solid. There's even a separate soap dispenser, which I've been told only successful people have. So this is a very high-end microwave. It's Ooh, a, a Viking. Viking designer. Oh, they knew how to heat up their food, didn't they? And <laughs> Look at these cute little cabinets. I love how they've got the see-through so that if you have a guest, they can find what's in here without rummaging. Liz, how tall are you? I'm 5'6 on a good day. Oh, okay. This must mean I've been lying about my height. I've been saying I'm 5'7. Am I 5'7? Maybe. It could be. Mm -hmm. Drawer space here is incredible. Oh, this is all the stuff you need to know about if you want to buy the place. We put it in there so nobody would see it, and now that's ruined. Maybe not everyone loves the mini fridge. I think this is fine. I like how there's the little, you know, pantry slash wine space around it. And do you really want a bigger fridge? Because then you lose the breakfast island. That's where the bigger fridge would have to be. Is it an ice maker too or no? You don't think so? And this is like so functional. If it's just you, maybe you and one other person, you've got a spot for those fruity pebbles. They put in this tile too. I think this looks pretty good. It's got a shimmer to it. I believe that this is not a load bearing wall. Oh really? So if you wanted to open the space up, I, I think you could do that. I'm not a contractor. You're not a contractor? Uh, no. You don't look like a contractor. No. Okay. It is so quiet out here. Usually if you're saving money on an apartment, your penalty for doing that is like noise or something, but I didn't really hear any. These also look to me like a relatively new soundproof design. Would you do anything different here? I think they got it right. I think this is the correct layout for the space. Maybe you could get a bigger TV, but then how would you show off the knowledge that is in your mind because you read these books and your vintage cabinet? How would you do that if you got a bigger TV? I like the quirky vintage lamp too. And this is wide enough and big enough that if it's you and if it's a few guests, you're not gonna be rubbing elbows. You guys will be nice and spread out. So even though it's a small place, it's not like a non-functional space. This seems like a lot of storage for a one bedroom apartment. I guess they added all this stuff in. Is that what we're they looking at here? They built this in, exactly. They built this in? Yep, so it all stays. And you could remove it if you just wore a barrel and suspenders if that was your outfit. <laughs> I think I would need a little ladder or something to get in there. Footstool. Footstool. Something. Yeah. Costco. That's right. This is super functional though. Definitely beats trying to have a dresser and all kinds of stuff just floating around here in the room when it's all right here. And the door, this clear design French door style thing, that's cool. You could put a little curtain on it if you wanted to. Oh, it has a curtain there thing. There was a little curtain here, I guess, at some point. Oh, cool. Yeah. Maybe the last owner didn't want to be looking at themselves through the mirror. <laughs> queen bed, full bed, what size? That's a queen. It's a queen? Yep. Sweet. Behind the lamps, you can see we've got this awesome built-in bookshelf, goes all the way up to the ceiling. The same magnificent view that we had in the living room. Maybe when you actually live here, you do this in a way that is more accessible maybe, I don't know. So originally the bed was on this wall. Okay. Um, so you had more access to the storage under here um, and the window. I think the owner wanted to try it with uh, equal access to the bed on both sides. So that's why they- Oh, so both people can kind of get out. Yeah. Uh... Equally easily. It can be customized to suit your lifestyle. What's in this closet over here? Uh, we have some window ACs. Oh, fancy schmancy. 
Those are the good ones because they're the old ones. They're not like the smart ones. And look at the rest of this closet, man. You fit so much stuff up in here. I call this closet like a mini walk-in. A mini walk-in. I think I'm completely in. Does it come with yeah. this hanger? It's a pretty nice looking hanger. Sure, you can have the hangers. Sweet. It's real wood. Ooh, the water's quiet. It means it's not gonna wake people up if you run the water in the actual bathroom. I'm a light sleeper and I like this medicine cabinet. Look at this, it's got a little locking bolt on it. It's so fancy. And we have this light, which could be thousands of years old. We don't know. So I think the owners wanted to renovate in keeping with the pre-war style of, of the building. So that's why they did this marble subway tile. And, mm, subway um, tile, is that what you're calling on the wall right here? I would call this a subway tile, but it's marble. So normally subway tile is is like white ceramic. The pedestal sink, the medicine cabinet, the light fixture, it's all in keeping with the style of the building. If you want to buy a place and you want to do it as cheaply as possible, you got to talk to Liz. It's a great place. Thanks for coming.